All right, Madam Recorder, are we ready? Yes. Members of the board, are we ready? Yes. Yes, sir. This meeting will come to order. Madam Recorder, please call the roll. Alderman Venable? Yes. Alderman Madison? Vice Mayor T? Here. Alderman Adams? Here. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please stand with me as the Vice Mayor leads us in prayer? In the name of Jesus, dear Heavenly Father, we come to you, Lord, in the only way that we know how, asking you to please forgive us for all of our sins. Lord, we thank you for your grace, and we thank you for your mercy. Father God, we thank you for how you look beyond our many, many faults, and you see our needs. Lord, I ask God that you will lead us, guide us, and direct us, Lord, in the path you will have us to go. Lord, I ask that you will help us to make the right decisions, Lord Jesus. Let it be according to thy will. And Lord, I ask that you bless everybody here and every citizen. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said amen. 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 Thank you, Vice Mayor. Chief, would you lead us in the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Chief. You may be seated. <clears throat> all right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for attending. If you're with us, and uh, thank those that will watch us later on on the video. Uh, as far as recognitions, proclamations, and awards. Uh, you're the guest this evening, but I will, uh, just as a matter of personal privilege, uh, I'd like to offer Chairman Randy Beckner to come up and brief us a little bit on some wonderful news for the town of Bluff City. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, first of all, I apologize for my casualness, but with only one thumb, there's no buttons, <laughs> no zippers, and no ties right now, so it limits my wardrobe a little bit. Um, yeah, we, we do have some good news. We, we did have our substantial completion inspection on the water and sewer project, uh, I guess it was two Fridays ago. Um, just a very, very minor punch list of, of, of drainage erosion issue need to be taken care of. And then the surface pavement on Main Street and that project will be finished and ready to close out with rural development. So it's uh, been a long time coming, but we're, we're finally there. <laughs> A um, couple other projects uh, that we've got, we, we, we did do some applications and, and get awarded two ARPA grant applications. Um, one of them is for sewer replacement on Carter Street. Um, we have that under contract. We've proceeded. We've completed the survey, and the design is actually about 90% done, so it's, it's getting really close to, to submitting to the mayor and, and Alan for, for review and approval, and then we'll submit it to TDAC so we can get that under construction. Um, the water treatment plant was another project that was that was funded, um, and I've, I've been working back and forth with an electrical subcontractor because a lot of that work is electrical, and, and we don't do that in-house. Uh, but I do have a meeting scheduled this Thursday to finalize their contract so we can get a contract to you all and get, get that project going. A um, couple projects, we also submitted applications for uh, asset management plans, one on the water side, one on the sewer side. Um, with TDEC, um, the thought was that those were going to be very quickly awarded and move on, but TDEC is still setting on those. So we've, we've not been notified we received it, but we've not been notified we didn't receive them either. So we're just still got our fingers crossed. Any questions on any of those projects, and did I miss anything, Mayor? No, uh, members of the board, any any questions for the chairman? No. Uh, Randy, uh, just uh, publicly want to thank you for uh, the things that, that the work that has been done since about last September. Uh, this board and myself decided to put our foot on the gas of RD Phase 3 project. And you brought folks together and helped us. Uh, also, uh, credit to Thomas Construction. Uh, obviously, our friends from USDA, TDEC, everybody came together to make this thing work for us. So we we greatly appreciate. And I know that Alan will echo in his brief, we are already seeing 
increased efficiencies uh, right. and less water loss. A lot of a lot of good things are happening in town. So thank you very much uh, right. for your help. Thank you all. All right. First item on the agenda is discussion and action of special call meeting minutes of June 30th and July 10th. Members of the board, these were delivered to you. Uh, you I assume you've had time to review them. In doing such, do you desire any additions or corrections to the minutes read? No. So the June 30th and just doing the uh, increase this evening. Yes, ma'am. And they are in front of you if you'd like to go ahead and review them again. Hearing no corrections, is there a motion to approve the minutes of June 30th and July 10th, 2023? Motion to approve the minutes for June 30th, 2023. Motion to approve by Alderman Adams. I'll second it. Second by Alderwoman Venable. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, Madam Recorder, please take a vote. Alderwoman Venable? Yes. Vice Mayor Key? No. Alderman Adams? Yes. Motion passes by majority. Thank you very much. Oh, as you were. Yeah, that's right. Motion fails. That's right. I forgot Sandy's not with us this evening. Motion fails. Thank you very much. Next item on the agenda is the first section of public comments. Anyone in public like to speak? Carolyn Payne, Bluff City Highway, 4818 Bluff City Highway. Ms. Uh, Payne, you are recognized. Thank you, sir. Uh, the two, uh, if I have time in my first three minutes, I'm going to cover two things. First thing, and I did hand, do a handout for every board member up there, and Mr. Fry, and also you, Sharon. Uh, I'm going to revisit the where the board voted to replace from five minutes back to three minutes. And to address that, what you have in front of you was the agenda for the January 7th, 2020 meeting. And it clearly states, if you will look, citizens' comments, if you'll look at it in front of you, it says right above adjournment. That's our second citizens' comments. Now, what, if you go to the municipal code, the page behind it, because Jeff told me there's never been a specific place for these items for citizens' comments, and there is. Municipal Code, Order of Business. Please look at that one because it will show you first citizens' comments is in number five. Second citizens' comments are on number 11. Then you will go to uh, right above, well, it's, it's German. Then go to 2023, and you will find number five, citizens' comments, first session. Number eight, citizens' comments, second session. That should be number 11, seven, second citizens' comments. And reviewing the videos today, when that ordinance was read, 2023, and you all voted on it, but now this is what you all voted on, to put it back the way it was before. And the way it was before, that Jeff, Jeff spearheaded changing it to one time for five minutes. A Carol Keith, you voted no on that. A big healthy no. And so did Richard Bowling. So two people voted, two on the board member. And by the way, Carol, you and Jeff are the only two people from that board to this board. I mean, everybody else has been new, newly appointed. So I don't expect the others to know anything about it. Let's see. That, I'm going back to the same thing. So let me go to this. I was talking about... Uh, let me... 
catch myself here. Ordinance, well, I've already said that 2020-001 was the ordinance change to five minutes that Jeff spearheaded. And then on the side, if you will look up through there, sorry for my, my scribble, I wanted to try to keep it all on the same page. And it clearly, I even put down there how the people that voted for it. Uh, and Carol, you disagreed and you verbalized it that night adamantly. I'll let and, you finish and then I'll speak. Thank you. Uh, and I appreciate that because you didn't want it changed. You didn't think it was fair to the citizens. Then the video, let's see. All right, you're at, you're just a little over three minutes. If you May I mind please continue? Up, Will any board member just allow a, me to just continue? Just a little bit. You'll have another opportunity. Well, I want to approach the next one that I have to okay. discuss well, tonight, I'll if I what, may. Miss right. Payne, uh, is there any way that you could take it on into the next session? May I please finish, Peggy? You, any gonna, board, will any board member allow minutes? me? Julie, well, will you allow me? Well, y'all arguing about if she could finish. No, there, will you allow me? Finish. There is no argument. Julie, may I finish? I'm discussing then. May I, I finish, Julie? Finish. You can allow me to finish, Julie. May All right, go ahead, Miss Payne. I'll entertain Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead. Finish. I appreciate that. Ordinance. Let's see. Uh, I wrote it down here. Oh. Hang on. I, I know I did my chicken scratch here. I've just got to find it. Hey, Miss Payne, do you think it yes, might be yes, better yes. if you were to collect your thoughts? and? I had my thoughts time? collected. When it was read, Mr. Fry, you read it, and you said that the only thing what you said that you had changed it per Jeff's instructions. The mayor's instructions, right? The mayor's instructions. Yeah, well, the, it said yours because you all were talking to each other. All right, there. Ms. Payne, that we're night. at four and a half minutes. Thank that you. That night. And Ms. Then, Payne, thank you. Please come up in the second session. Yes, ma'am. Please, Vice Mayor. Okay. Ms. No. Payne, yes, I was here during that time. Yes. And I agreed. I wanted, I thought citizens need to have two sessions, yes. okay? Yes. All right, so your problem about this is they got them in the wrong place? Yes, and I said it at the meeting. Right, well, but please, just... I, I said I just thought it was well, an oversight. Second, let me... Regardless, and I do okay. apologize if they're in the wrong place. Thank you. But I fought hard yes, for you did. all to get citizens' comments twice. Yes. And we got it. Yes. Even though it might not be in the right place, but we got but it. But you voted to put it back still, the way that it was. It because if I'm not wrong, really, we, we have to do it once. We, we amended. No. These. You, please, Miss Payne. Go 1102 ahead. and 1101 have been amended several times. Every time that we do this, you keep referring to it, we have amended it. We can place those comments wherever the board desires. We only have to have one session. We've tried to help. We decided to put them where they are. That's where they are. Please. And the, the thing about it is we got it two times, and I tried, but it seemed like it's never enough. It is it's enough. I All I wanted is back in number 11, right above adjournment. That's where the board That's voted where to place was. it. She's correct. That is where I'm telling you it right. It does have surface no purpose in number 8. Because we, we don't get to hear what you all are saying. What, like, what would that the, matter? What, what, it makes, it matters a lot. Matter. Because the business so no, no, under new business and old business and, okay, when, well, and okay. when the aldermen get to speak, How about it does I discuss matter. It, how about the board discusses it and we'll come back to you? You okay. said you would address it at the last meeting. Okay, and thank you, you Ms. Payne. Thank you, Ms. Payne. There is no... Thank you, Ms. Payne. <laughs> All right. Would anyone else like to speak? Ron Hunt, one ninety one Lakeview Drive. Mr. Hunt, you are recognized. Hello, y'all. I'm coming to you again as a concerned citizen. We got to do something about the speed on Lakeview Drive, and at this point, I'm asking for speed humps. Last week, a neighbor across the road reached out, and he said, we just had a pickup truck pass two cars. 
on Lakeview Drive. It's getting really scary. It needs some attention, Jim. Thank you, Mr. Hunt. Uh, I think the chief will brief Lakeview Drive during his session. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hunt. Appreciate it. Anyone else like to speak? Hearing and seeing none, we'll move on to the next item, which is discussion and action. First reading of Ordinance Number 2023-016, the updated zoning ordinance. Now, members of the board, you did receive as reference the minutes from the Planning and Zoning Commission. Uh, this comes to you uh, as a favorable recommendation from Planning and Zoning Commission. Uh, we actually worked for about five months, four to five months. At least. At least, if not six, going through approximately a hundred pages of our zoning ordinance with the help of the First Tennessee uh, Development District's planner. And there actually have been two. We had one started and then we have another one now. Uh, I can assure you that every word of this new ordinance has been scrutinized fully, has been reviewed by our attorney. And uh, this will bring us to a place where that we are properly aligned with our zoning the way we should be. Also, uh, there are some caveats to this. We have included tiny homes, campgrounds, and some other things that were excluded from the former ordinance. So with that, uh, and obviously before public hearing, if you desire, we will be glad, I personally will be glad to give any one of you a full copy of the, the prospective zoning ordinance for your review. Like I say, it's so lengthy, I did not send it in your packet. It's about 100 pages long. But again, this comes to you with a positive recommendation from the Planning Commission. So with that, in hearing that, is there a motion? I make a motion to approve it. Motion to approve by Alderwoman Vittable. Second. Second by Vice Mayor Keefe. Is there any further discussion? Hearing and seeing none, Madam Recorder, please take a vote. Alderwoman Vittable. Yes. Vice Mayor Keefe. Yes. Alderman Adams. Yes. Thank you. Motion passes unanimously. Next item on the agenda is my report, uh, and it's a good one. Uh, I, I just want to just go back a little bit to uh, a year ago. Uh, a year ago yesterday, I became mayor of our town, and I just first of all want to thank this board because we... Uh, I guess uh, we 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 <laughs> had a prod a product that we needed to do some work on, mm. and uh, but a very good product from our predecessors. And uh, this board uh, has uh, uh, supported me in my role as mayor and town manager. Uh, as Carol, the vice mayor, always says, we we can always agree to disagree. And we, we haven't sat up here for a year as yes men or women. There's been some times that we've had discussion. We haven't agreed on things. But everybody had the same goal. And the same goal was to basically reunite, reunite reform, and restore. Reunite our, our people, uh, ourselves first. Restore, uh, reform our way of doing business. Reform our own government make it more efficient uh, and better for the citizens and service, and then restore the forward motion of the town, and we've done that. We've done that. Now, the next piece to that, and equally so, is the town staff. Uh, I work with 24 of the best people in the whole world. Uh, the town of Bluff City uh, command structure is a ladder on the ground. Greg, Sharon, myself, and Alan and everybody else that works here or runs in a ladder, we all just have different jobs. And that's the way we operate, and we operate well that way. There's been some great accomplishments. I mean, think about it. Uh, internally, uh, we've, uh, we've, we've accomplished several projects. There have been events in town 
in this last year, the, the board and I, along with the staff, the teams, have brought to the town folks never first time in history we've ever done things like this. And uh, secondly, we've accomplished many, many small victories. Uh, you know, Alan and his guys, I, I could talk all day about the things they've done. The police department under Greg's leadership is a, a team, a blue team, that other entities want to come and work. We're turning down people to come and work at Bluff City Police Department. We have at this point, the, the, and this is Greg's own words, the best team we've ever had in his over 20 years of service. We've promoted officers. We've put structure into the department. We have leadership. And then on the finance and administration straight side, with Sharon under her leadership, we've upgraded systems. We've put our records where they need to be. We've come on to Watson RMS. We've modernized hardware. We, uh, we, we, we balanced a budget. Sharon and her team have enjoyed two, I say again, two audits. And these audits take days and they are scrutinizing with no findings. Things are running right in the town of Bluff City. They really are. And the credit goes to God, first and foremost, but to the board and the team that work with me, about 30 people that work with me every day, I give the praise. It's it's all about them. And then finally, citizens now are citizens, and even members of the community that aren't our ordinated citizens, are excited to volunteer and do things in our town. They're out doing back-to-school bashes and this and that, and we're on fire in the town of Bluff City, on we, I, I can, and I, I can tell you this honestly. There's probably not two weeks go by that we don't have something in the media that's great that Bluff City started that we're doing, and it's not derogatory. There is nothing derogatory in the media, even when we sat here for a long time and we scrutinized the current budget and we looked at it and we figured and we figured and we cut here and we did there and we did everything we could do to make it as affordable as possible and we passed it and we had to for the right of the town even then uh, there was no disagreement no argument we were professionals we we did the job that we were elected to do or that we were hired to do so that's my comments for this evening. Thank you, number one, for the privilege of allowing me to be your mayor for a year. And thank uh, the board and the staff that I work with for the excellent support and teamwork. I really appreciate it. So moving on, we'll move into the second session of public comments. Who would like to speak? Carolyn Payne, I'm just going to finish up briefly. Oh, uh, your address for the record, please. Carolyn Payne, 4818 Bluff City Highway. Thank you, Miss Payne. You're recognized. Thank you very much. I just want to finish it up. Carol, it is important where the placement goes on this. And you all did vote to put it back exactly the way it was. And you can find where that is with what I provided in front of you. And that was at the Tuesday, January 7, 2020 meeting. You will find... First, citizens' comments comes after discussion and action. For this case, it was Mather and Craig. Uh, then even it was even before, you had it even before you approved the minutes of the meeting. So our agenda is looking somewhat different. But the thing, the huge difference here is right here, the last session of citizens' comments, second session, it comes right before the meeting is adjourned. We don't hear what the board has to say when you when the when the aldermen can make their comments and 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 if you discuss new business or old business or even if we disagreed on what you all voted for that night because on first reading we do not have the privilege any longer of making any comments on first readings that's it um, but and I do Jeff said he would look at it Carol you said it that meeting in June. You told me Jeff said he would look at it. 
you, you said things uh, never enough. We're not satisfied. It's never enough. It is enough. I just wanted it, what you all voted on, for it to go back the way it was. Now, the second thing, which I also put in front of you, is that vacant seat. And I'm going to read this and at the top. I just printed the one page. This comes from our charter. Section 6, vacancies in the office of aldermen. In the event a vacancy occurs in one or two seats on the board of mayor and aldermen, such vacancies shall be filled by majority vote of the remaining, let's see, majority vote of the remaining members of the board, which is the board members, for the unexpired portion of the term. It could not be any more clear than that. But yet it's never been put on the agenda to fill that seat. Now, it was critical, critical when you all did the budget. That's why we have five people up there on that board. Two things. Carol, you voted no on both of them, the water and the sewer. And so, and so did Sandy. But it came down to a 2-2. Two, two. A 2-2. Two, two. And Jeff was the deciding vote. You, if we had had that third person, well, it might have gone majority. Or it might have gone a big, fat no. But we won't know because that seat's not filled. You, I'm begging you. I'm, this is your job. The mayor is to guide you all. And, and, and he knows this charter. And, and it should have been put in there to fill that vacancy. Carol, you said the first time I brought Ms. it up Payne, in April. you're at three minutes. You can go just a little bit more. When I brought it up the first time in April, this was right after you all accepted Heather's resignation. And, Carol, you said it was maybe a little bit too soon. But it's never too soon. No, but, I agree. It's never too soon. So maybe yes. we can start reaching out and letting people know that that seat's going to be coming up sometime soon. But it's up to the oh, board. Oh, yes, 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 the, yes, the, the, so board, the board, yes. But, but the board, it's up to the board to get it on the agenda. I'm begging you, get it on the agenda. Well, I think you've made your point, Miss Payne. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you Appreciate all very it. much. All right. We'll move on now to report from the town attorney. Mr. Fry, do you have a report? Um, just a bit of information. Uh, we collected a little over $7,000 in delinquent property taxes this month. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Fry. Next item on the agenda, discussion and action of the financial report. Ms. Sharon, would you please? Fund balances as of June 30th, 2023. General fund, $2,630,537. Sanitation fund, 30838 Police fund, 3107 Debt service fund, 115330 Sinking fund, 3094 Water sewer fund one million sixty thousand six hundred and eighty two. Total fund balance of three million five hundred and forty three thousand six fifty one. Thank you, Miss Sharon. Ladies and gentlemen of the board in hearing the financial report, I would entertain a motion. I make a motion to approve. Uh, okay, motion <laughs> motion by Alderman Adams to approve Second by Vice Mayor Keith. Is there any further discussion? Hearing and seeing none, Madam Recorder, please take the vote. Alderman Venable? Yes. Vice Mayor Keith? Yes. Alderman Adams? Yes. Thank you. Motion passes unanimously. Next item on the agenda is the departmental reports. First on deck is Chief Greg DePew, Police and Public Safety. Good evening, Mayor. Good, Good evening, evening, Chief. Citizens. Uh, I'll go over our monthly stats, and we'll address some things that we were talking about. I'll brief on a few things we've had going on. Uh, it has been a busy month and seems to keep getting a little busier. Mm -hmm. uh, for the month, we answered 246 calls. We had 289 citations, uh, issued 143 warnings. 
Uh, gas is going up. We focused hard as we can to save and cut our miles back. If you see, we're, we're, we were almost at 7,000 miles last month. We're uh, setting at 5461 this month. So we've tried to still be very productive and do things, but kind of cut back that. when we can. So that's something we always try to work on. We had 44 arrests. That is a lot for mm -hmm. us. If you look past at things we're doing, because to make an arrest is not an easy thing. It's time consuming. It's very hard work, and it's a lot of follow through when you do it. When you do it and do it right, so that that's that's a lot for this department. Uh, had uh, 40 offense reports. Uh, had uh, 13 alarm calls. Had five accidents. Uh, just three animal calls. 20 MSDs. Had uh, uh, five uh, DUIs. As you see, that's starting to creep up and go up. We're doing better on our patrols. We've sent some officers to some specialized training. On DUIs, it's helping them look for them better, help them know what they're getting when they get there and be very productive as they're doing and efficient with and doing a good job at that. Uh, nine drug violations. Uh, that's, as you see, is trending up. Uh, it's, it's We're trying to really do our best now to, to tackle that problem as much as we can and had one use of force report. Uh, as you see, our citations are up. Uh, we're stopping lots of cars if you have these warnings in. From one city limit sign to the other, we have speeding issues, I agree. And on our smaller streets and city streets, it is a concern. Uh, we did do some studies down there. We did go down for a period really enforced heavy in that area. It seemed to work for a while. Uh, we have had to focus on some other areas. That's like the day I myself was out of the office on two major calls myself where an officer had to have backup. And we were, we had other officers doing other things, and so we're kind of stretched at some point sometimes. But uh, you coming and letting me know that, giving me information, helps me help you. Uh, what we will do, I will reach out to Sullivan County tomorrow. We will get their speed trailer. I will try to find an area that's safe and good. We will, we will utilize the speed trailer. An email will be sent out as soon as I get back to my office. Uh, Sergeant Bays, uh, over patrol, he will follow up with that, and he will see that we are documenting and getting some studies down there, being visible down there, seeing more, uh, and we'll step up in that area. Uh, at, you're welcome. As we do get busier and things keep going, uh, a lot of cities have... You know, certain officers are just designated as a traffic officer uh, because when our officers are out, they're enforcing traffic, but a lot of times if they get a bad call or go on a call, it ties them up a lot. And, you know, being a smaller department. So as we move forward, I, I can see that in our future uh, where we may have to look at having a traffic officer. Uh, like I've always tried to explain, this is like a business. And our busiest times are from, say, 6 a.m. in the morning till about 10 at night. That's when our most traffic businesses are open. That's where we have to utilize a lot of our manpower because that's where, you know, probably 80% of our calls are and 90% of our traffic. Uh, so we'll keep working on that. We'll keep trying to do everything we can to make it better. Uh, but uh, as the mayor said, and I did say, we had a wonderful time at our promotion ceremony. Uh, mayor, thank you. Uh, and, thank you. And thank the board. I appreciate everything, and as he said, we do, I feel, have the best crew that I have ever worked with, with here, and I feel like things we're doing and accomplishing, and it takes us all, everybody, it starts up here, and the support of you all uh, allows us to do the things we're doing and to move forward and make those steps that we've always needed to make as a police department, get the training we're needing, get the equipment we're needing, get all the updates and things that we need to make this town better and safer. So I do appreciate that. And uh, like I said, Sergeant Bays is one who got promoted. Uh, he's going to make a great patrol sergeant. He's good with the guys. He's going to be a great trainer. He brings a lot to the table. Uh, and then Kevin Smith was promoted as a lieutenant over, like, special events. He's, like, uh, operations with uh, drug stuff, investigations. And we've just structured things now where it's so much smoother we have things where we can grow and it'll help better serve the community so all that stuff's good but that that's all i have if you have any questions or concern please let me have it congratulations to the officers yeah. <laughs> but uh but that tomorrow we'll reach out we'll work on the speed trailer we'll be more visible 
we'll start getting some more uh, patrols down there too and, and try to help you out there and give me some good feedback too. If you want to reach out to me, reach out to the mayor. Uh, we communicate every day. Yes, sir. Sometimes late at night, Several sometimes times. early in the morning, but we're in communication I'll today. speed so, Yeah. So, uh, but that's all I have. Thank you, Chief. All right, thank Thanks you. for a great yes, night. Thank you. All right. Next on tap is Mr. Alan Moultrie, Hub Works. Good evening, Mayor, Board. Uh, water plant, uh, the water plant is operating normally, pumping an average of 260,000 gallons per day. Our water tank level was an average of 43.64 feet for the month. The minimum our water tank level got to in July was 39.55 feet, while the maximum tank level for the month was 51.66 feet. Uh, the water plant did operate flawless throughout the month of July until July 29th when we had a power outage due to the storms that uh, came through. Uh, we were down for two and a half hours, and once we got it back up, everything was good and going in the distribution system. Uh, we are continuing to try to track leaks and repair them as they show themselves in the system. Uh, we made one water tap install for the month and started another round of meter change out. We have stalled 32 of the 140 meters uh, set to be replaced in this round. Uh, in the sewer department, uh, the sewer department is operating well. With there being no overflows in the month of July, all pump stations in the town are operating and performing great. During the rain event, we did receive uh, pump station alarms due to high well levels uh, that we're experienced, but uh, we were able to maintain and we uh, didn't overflow or anything like that, and that's without the use of the sewer pump truck. Yeah. Uh, in the street department, uh, the city uh, workers are working hard uh, trying to uh, keep up with brush pickup. Uh, we have received a shipment of our chipper. We're currently in the process of uh, going through our uh, manuals and making sure everybody is trained up on that device before we take it out. Uh, but we are, we have taken shipment of that and I do appreciate it. It was one of the items that we truly needed in this town and now we got another one. We're able to operate and soon as we get everybody trained up, we'll be out in the field using it. Uh, other than that, that's all I have to report on. If you all have any questions, feel free to ask me. Uh, I do have one. Um, a citizen had reached out to me about that tree. Uh, we're still having somebody. We, we we're have, actually bid, uh, We're actually working with a contractor today. Really great. Uh, yes. I, I will let them know. Alan and I, we, uh, if I may, Alan. So the storm did bring to our attention some problem oh, areas sorry. in town, and we did – uh, more especially uh, on Carter Street and Gerald and some other areas in town. So we are in discussion now with a contractor on several spots in town. And probably what we'll do is we'll financially go to the problem areas first and then the least problem areas from there so we don't we, – we can kind of watch our budget as we go along. But, yep, we got that going. Okay. Yeah, and that that uh, that quote should be here tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, and we have a quote coming. So, okay, thank you, right. Right. Alan. Uh, again, I, I tell you, man, the, the public works is kicking. They, they really are. I mean, you you would not believe what uh, they can accomplish in a day, and that's running a water treatment plant at the same time. Uh, yeah, the chipper's going to be great for us. It's really going to help streamline the process of things. But, you know, uh, over the weekend, this last weekend, I mean, uh, I was involved and, in, you know, pump station alarms were going off. And uh, Alan's guys, and I was out there, you know, several times with them, and uh, you had to run them off. I mean, they want to stay. They're concerned. It's not because they want the money. Right. <laughs> it's because they care. Right. They're like, but this has got to, you know, what about this and what about that? And they just, you, you got to run. And it's all weekend. You know, they, they could be home with their feet kicked up watching a game, and they're here in uniform. Ready to do the things, worried about. I'm afraid that I can't leave that pump station. And we're like, no, it's good. You know, it, yeah. it's our. No, I'm afraid. So, you know, they're conscientious. They care uh, well above uh, the job description. I appreciate I that, Alan. Not only that, but 
uh, we're finding a bunch of leaks. Yeah. Allen's, Allen's folks are they're, out there hey, finding a bunch of leaks. They're starting to show themselves. Uh, we are in the process. We got about four four leaks that we're eyeing currently right now. Uh, I'm just uh, trying to get everything planned up so we can budget properly for these projects because asphalt will have to be replaced after uh, these leaks are repaired. Yeah. So, uh just trying to make sure we plan properly uh, so everything can operate uh, the way it needs to. So, great job, my man. Yeah. Appreciate it. Appreciate Thank it. You. <coughs> All right. Next on tap is Finance and Administration. Ms. Sharon, do you have any comments for the group? Just that the girls are working hard. Yes, the they are. Materials ready for the audit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, that's been. Sharon, she's been wearing CMFO hat a lot here mm. and uh, trying to, you know, make sure we did. Yeah, obviously, we approved a budget, and it's been sent off to the comptroller's office, and now she's in audit preparation. Man, that's mean because she just sits there all day and looks number, 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 number all day. So it must work with two audits with no findings the way she does it. And then uh, as far as the clerks go, uh, a lot of good things happening. Uh, we uh, customer service is great. Uh, we're busier up in the clerk's office than we've ever been. Uh, uh, in regard, you know, Greg's Greg's guys are cranking out a lot of work every day, and uh, and then you know we're also modernizing at the same time the way that we do business, and so. You know, we, uh, I, I can't say enough about, well, like I told you before, we're all 24 folks. They're, they're great. So thank you, Ms. Sharon, and thank you for all that you do for the town. Yeah. We really appreciate it. All right. That concludes that part of the agenda, and now we'll move in to uh, board comments. So, Miss Julie, will you start us off with any comments that you have? i just glad we've got a few more faces in here tonight. <laughs> yeah, good to see some folks out there. Mm -hmm. it really is. That's all. Thank you, ma'am. All right, Madam Vice Mayor. Hello, everybody. You guys know me. I'm not a politician, but I believe in keeping it real. And I just want to take the time, first of all, to thank my fellow board members. We agree to disagree, and we get in hot and heavy sometimes, don't yeah, we? we're supposed but to. But we don't try to cut each each other up. We come together. We can agree to disagree. And I want to encourage you guys. Y'all are doing a good work. And, uh, you know, my heart is full because I see the good things that are happening. Also, I hear the shade. I hear the giggles. But that's not going to stop me. I'm going to continue to move forward. We are going to continue to move forward because we are doing a good work. And uh, also, I happen to be on my phone and it popped up. We're a WJL. Is that what it is? did the thing talking about Bluff City. That was some good things they were saying about our city, talking about people coming together. And it was a young lady talking about it and said something, I'm paraphrasing, something about she remembered when it seemed like people was pulling apart. Mm -hmm. But it is so good to see people coming together and wanting to do things. I say all that to say this. Would you stand up, please? And, you know, not because... You are the mayor's wife. Right is right and wrong is wrong. And I want to take the time to say thank you for your hard work. Thank you for your service. I've been down to the yard sale. And everybody that I have talked to had nothing but good things to say about our town. Yeah. What are we doing so wrong? You know, what are we doing so wrong? I mean, we got a lot of work to do, grant you. But look at the good things that we're doing. People are coming out. People from Bristol, Johnson City, coming out. And not only that, the board, and I won't even begin to name it, if people would speak up and say something, we ha they have called me, had problems. I reached out to the mayor. We go see about it. We get it worked out. A lot of things you don't see. A lot of things you don't see. And it's hard. It's hard work. It is hard work. And then to get bashed or whatever. But that's okay. I don't care. I'm going to continue to stand up and speak up and speak up for what is right. And when my season is over, I will gladly get off this board. But not until then. So if you need me, I'm just a phone call away. I will continue to stand up. 
and speak up and speak out for what's right. God bless you. Thank you, Madam Vice Mayor. Ben? I hate that I have to follow that. Oh, I know, man. <laughs> I just want to thank everybody for coming out. Um, I, I do feel like we're making some great progress. We're, like progress. we're getting um, some very important things done. And I mean, farmer's market going on. I mean, just, uh, I, I really like the direction we're going in. Mm-hmm. So thanks, everybody. Thank you, Ben. Thanks for your service, too, man. Really thank appreciate you. it. All right, at this time, we'll address any old business. Is there any old business we'd like to address? I do. Yes, ma'am. Okay, it's considering what Ms. Payne said. She is exactly correct. It's right here in front of us. Special call meetings. The second session comes right before we adjourn. The regular meetings, it comes in between. It's got to go one way or other. It gets confusing, and she's right like the special call, why would you? Why would this be different and be the way it used to be in the regular meetings is different. It's not right before we adjourn. We're after we've talked and discussed everything. It's right here. Y'all did it yourself. And you're still trying to deny it. And two, it is time to fill the seat. Well, there's more problems because, I mean, it, if it was this November, it'd be a different story. But it's next November. And you see the problems that we've had. And we have to do something about if we're going to have second session just a few lines down or at the beginning and end because it's confusing to me also. And it's right here on here. It's at the end. This one right here. Tonight's meeting, it's in the middle. That's not fair. That's not right. Julie, we've amended uh, 1-101 and 1-102, if I remember correctly. And that's what we amended it to. Now, if you want to have a discussion well, about call different than changing it, uh, we can. Uh, it doesn't matter. But lastly, we voted and amended both of those the way it is. So... I mean, you can say it used to be this way, but well, why we've is amended that different it several times. Why is special call meeting the old That is a board decision. And the new and the regular meetings is the new way. Why wouldn't it, it be the same it, no it matter is, what way they are? Uh, uh, you know, that's a board decision. That's all I can well, tell I mean, you. I mean, you... Just because it's on the wrong line, I mean, if that's because it makes a big a difference. You know, we discuss just... things. Okay, well, there's no need to get upset. Yeah. Well, it, there is because well, no, the, uh, the we, board doesn't listen we, to what the citizens are asking for. Uh, I, I believe we did. Julie, I did. That's yeah. why I fought so hard. We yeah. only had one session, and I thought we would be thankful have that two we got two, now. But didn't get it in the right place. And I'll Remember the right that we are only required to have one session. And don't you open your mouth, Miss Payne. <laughs> and we can stipulate that it only be items on the agenda. We do not. We let anybody come up and say anything they want. Check the bill, Miss Payne. So we give you two sessions. We put it right after the business that we have to do. What does it matter what the board says? We're here for business. We're not here to say, I don't like what Vice Mayor Keith said. That, we're not here for that. So we have given more than we've been asked to give by law. That is what it is. Now, if, so, if, if we're not pleased as a board, we can amend and amend and we can make it five minutes one time, three minutes twice, seven minutes, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. I just hurt. want them but we've given at more the same than we've time. Been asked. Special meeting, it should be at yeah. the same time as a regular meeting. It is. It That's is not. The it's thing. Right, right here. Right before you adjourn on this. Uh, Special call meeting, July 10th. Tonight's meeting. It was earlier. Did we... Did I didn't print these. Y'all did. Julie, we don't have reports from the department heads in a special call meeting. We don't have the county commissioner's part of the agenda. There's nothing to put in there. 
It's a different format. It's a different format. That's what I'm saying. That's the reason it looks that way. So, how about we do this? If you're disgruntled about the way that we do it, we'll have a workshop coming up here pretty soon. And we'll sit down as a board and we'll re-examine it. We can do that. No problem. But, for the public, for everybody here... We are offering more than the law stipulates. We are way more liberal. I, I don't know what else to do, I mean, beside that. So, I mean, are you okay with when we go to work session next time to yeah. sit down and talk about it? I'm okay if you just yeah. have one comment if it's at the end. Okay, well, Every meeting, the law says we have to have one. That's what I'm saying. That's it. But I want it on the special call and red We intend to do that because now, according to what just passed through the legislature, we are required, even in planning and zoning, we now have public comments because that's what, what is it, HB 300, if I remember right, HB 300 that passed through the legislature requires us to do. And again, allow me to recover this point. We as a board can stipulate that only comments that we will hear in public comments are those relative to the agenda. We don't. We want citizens to come up and say, hey, I'm Brian Hunt and people are speeding through my neighborhood. It's not on the agenda. I want to hear about it. So I don't think this board ever intends to become that stringent. So that, and then in regard to the board seat, that is a board decision. If there is a candidate that a board member is seeking for recognition, make that candidate known. But I'll bring you back to section six, and it says vacancy is the office of alderman. In the event a vacancy occurs, one or two more seats board mayor and alderman, such as vacancy, should be filled by majority vote of the remaining members of the board for the expire portion of the term. But it does not say when we do it. It doesn't say when. It does not say within 30 days, within two weeks, within one year. It don't say that. So when this board decides to bring on a board member, this board as a whole, by majority, will do that. But we're not under the gun. To do it lawfully right here in this charter. It says no, there's no time limit. No, I'd rather the, the citizens be able to vote on it, but of course they can't until they next year. not till the election. I, but I know that. That's what I'm saying. But I also think we shouldn't wait months and months and months. Okay, and then. We well, have to get a, have a candidate and yeah, everybody's got to vote. Right. So if you know a candidate, you know. then present that candidate to the board for review. And we will vote accordingly. That's what the charter tells us to do. But it don't say when. Anything else? No. Okay. Is there any other old business? Very good. Hearing none, is there any new business? The only new business I have is yes, you know, we, uh, thankfully we have our building about paid off, correct? One more year. Okay, well my focus is what I would love to do is uh, Alderman uh, Adams has stated a while back he loved to have a time when we can say we can do a decrease. So with saving the water and all this stuff, I'm hope, I want to look forward to trying to uh, get a decrease in there. That's what I want to look in the in. property tax mm-hmm. rate? I'm talking about, not right now, I'm talking about looking to the future. Absolutely, the yeah, future absolutely. I'm focusing on getting a decrease. We yeah. will uh, we'll go through another assessment yeah. here pretty soon of the property tax right. rate. Right. And as you know, as a staff vice mayor, we are continually looking mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. ways to save right. Right. without hampering or degrading services right. to the right. citizens. Right. I mean... Here's a good example. Uh, we were in a uniform contract, uh, and we found that contract to be cumbersome, 
and expensive and not serving Public Works Department as it should, and we bought it out. And with that, we'll save about $3,000 this year in uniforms, and we're not encumbered by a contract. So we can do what we want, and we can buy the Public Works Department the things they need mm -hmm. with the money that we have. So I'm telling you, every day, if we, if we when I walk through this hall and I see the lights on, I turn them off. <laughs> I do. I, if I can save a nickel here, I will. You know, and Greg's apartment is the same. He just told you. He cut his patrol mileage down a thousand, over a thousand miles. And we still, and we still have the biggest month we've ever had in citations <laughs> and nine drug arrests. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we're looking for savings. And, and that's what we'll do. So. I wish there was a way that, and you could check with the school too, you know, kids studying government, that sometime maybe you can invite them to a meeting. We're absolutely, like we're ready for young that. young people involved yeah. so we can continue yeah. to move forward, not go back, but move forward. I agree. And get the young people involved. I agree. And there's some things that I will bring to you in work session, uh, not now, mm -hmm. in work session, uh, some new ideas that are going to be brought to you that I think are real similar to that. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to like. Okay, very good. Any other old bu or new business, rather? Hearing and seeing none, this meeting is hereby adjourned.